I love how our government doesn't even this. care to hide their corruption anymore. Like specifically with this whole TikTok ban that was just passed, I love how they decided to just slide it into a bill where we're going to send even more billions of dollars to Ukraine. And then the cherry on top, just to add a little insult to injury, was all the footage of our elected officials in our country's house waving the Ukrainian flag around in support of the bill being passed. Like how completely stupid is that? At this point, they're so confident that we won't do anything about anything that there's no point in even them trying to hide their bullshit anymore my favorite line about this whole tiktok ban is how they're doing it for our safety they don't want our information going to foreign adversaries that is the biggest load of crap i have ever heard hey here's an idea if you're so concerned about our safety why not i don't know maybe do a little better to secure the border or how about bring down our living costs such as housing gas and groceries or maybe just maybe you crack down on corporate greed so we we can raise wages and build up our middle class again so we can actually feel like anything we do is of worth but nope let's send another 90 billion to ukraine let's ban an app that 170 million americans use our government has given up on us bro they don't care about our problems or our struggles they don't care that costs keep going up while wages stay the same they don't care that mega corporations are buying up all the homes in this country which is preventing my generation or any other future generations from ever having the ability to be homeowners ourselves they don't care about the fact that our education system has completely collapsed and teachers are quitting in droves they don't care that most of us are out here having to work two or three jobs just to make ends meet and still not be able to afford basic rights like food or housing they don't care about any of that but what do they care about TikTok, that's their priority. TikTok and sending more of your tax money to foreign countries. And people ask me all the time in my messages, well, what should we do about it? And the honest answer is, I don't know. Because what I'm worried about is that we're just too far gone. The level of rot and corruption has gone so far deep into every fabric of our society that it almost feels impossible to get out of this. I mean, think about the fact that to this day, they are still protecting the names of the people that were on that fucked up island. Why? If they won't even tell us that, what makes you think we even have a remote chance of fixing this shit? So I don't know. This has become so depressing that I don't even want to continue to make content about it anymore because it's not like we need to bring any more awareness to all of this corruption. We all know what's going on. The only thing left to do, it seems, is to just sit back, pray, and hope for the best and try to be as optimistic about it as we can. Hope that maybe when the last of the boomers who are in control die off, that maybe our generation can make things right we'll see but they don't even want us to have tiktok anymore dude like that's how fucked up this whole thing has become they are so scared of us and our potential and the ability to communicate and share information with each other that they're gonna take this app away from us that's how fucked up it's become so i don't know man from now from now until that day comes i think i just want to talk about relatable things or funny things instead of political and controversial things because the way this world is going whatever time we do have left i I want to spend it trying my best to smile and laugh instead of constantly talking about all this negativity. The bad guys have won, y'all. Let's just try and have a good time with whatever time we still have left.